Hey, 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 my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. We are doing a wonderful sign of Scorpio, your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Keep in mind, my loves, that energy is fluid. So if you're cross-watching and I say this is Scorpio's energy, but it feels more like your energy, please feel free to place the energy where uh, it fits in your situation, okay? For your announcement, so the monthly specials are in the description box below. Uh, we got a few more slots left of the 31. One dollars and seventy three cents um, donation to get a uh, live coaching session slash intuitive reading with me. So you can check out that information in the description box below. Um, once those fifteen slots have gone, there's still other specials that you can check out. Not to mention the three classes that I am offering. Okay, so we have the thirteen week uh, mastering yourself, bending space and time, and creating your own reality. Uh, that is also in the description box below. We also have to two other classes, how to read and interpret your tarot deck cards. We'll be reading the original Rider right Waite deck, all 78 cards. You're going to get the basic meaning of the cards as well as how to intuitively interpret the cards, okay? Also, you're going to learn how to use your body as a conduit to read the cards also. So that's going to be a really cool class. That information is in the description box below. And last but not least, how to trust your intuition and communicate with the spiritual realm. Speaking to your guides, speaking to your angels, speaking to your ancestors. So that information is in the description box below. Hello. Uh, there will not be a paid forward Friday this Friday on the 10th because we're having the full moon meditation and you guys can join us. That's just a donation of $20 and you will receive the private link. But um, paid forward Fridays will be returning on the 17th, which is next Friday. Okay, guys. All right, so we're thanking our angels, we're thanking our guides, we're thanking our ancestors, we're thanking our higher self. We're thanking the divine masculine and feminine energy. We are thanking all the energy in the atmosphere that is here to help guide, protect, encourage, motivate, inspire, and give us the strength, the courage, and the boldness to take action and move forward when it is time, okay? All right, my lovelies, we're going to be doing a... um what you need to hold on to, what you need to let go of, and the possible outcome. We're going to check out your energy and the energy that you're possibly interacting with. Okay, my wonderful Scorpios? You guys can also check out my daily vibrations. They are posted every day, my loves, at 12.15 a.m. All right, so what you need to hold on to is the Queen of Wands, my wonderful Scorpio. That's someone that's determined. Um, that is someone that is... Um, um, could be very warm and fun loving. I think this is someone that takes a more, um, realistic approach to how they're doing things because they've experienced enough to know what to do and what not to do. So this is someone definitely owning their power and taking action when it's time. Okay. So you need to hold on to that power. This is also intuitive power. Okay. And because this is wants energy, this is fire energy. This could be intuitive energy, but this can also be very intense energy or passionate energy. Okay. Applied to whatever, uh, you're doing or you're interacting with. Okay. Okay? Uh, or whatever your situation is, right? So you need to hold on to your Queen of Wands energy. What does my wonderful Scorpios need to let go of? Okay. Oh, we're going to clarify this. You need to let go of the Six of Pentacles. Okay? Mm, all right? And that's all about generosity and maybe even fairness, I want to say. Uh, relationships that are balanced, relationships that are caring, you know? Okay, so they're saying you need to let go of that. We're going to clarify that. And what is... Oh! Ooh, okay. They just don't flop the whole bunch of cards out here. Okay. Now, I do want to say this, Scorpios. Okay. What you need, the possible outcome, you have the Hierophant card showing up. Okay. So, this is all about... Um, identifications, your belief systems, what are tra uh, traditions, what are you building your truth on, okay? Now, clarifying this six of pentacles energy, you do have the two of wands energy, and it's pointing to the future, okay? So, let's get your energy and see why we can, um, what's going on here, okay? So, give me Scorpio's energy, Okay, we know they need to hold on and be determined. We know they need to let go of maybe being so charitable, Scorpios, and think more about your future. 
I, and I'm also hearing Scorpios is kind of like um, being able to um what i'm hearing is how many times does somebody have to show you who they are right because we're the type of person my fellow scorpios that we'll give you a chance right and we may give you you know like depending on how much we love you you may get more than one chance right however there becomes a point in time where we start to question your loyalty and your trust okay especially if you keep you know like literally fucking this over or maybe not being considerate of, of our feelings and you know our role in the situation scorpios can be very very possessive but they're also extremely loyal we're extremely loyal okay so all right let's see scorpios we got the two of wands in reverse mm -hmm. that's why he's probably telling you don't be so generous okay you got the five of coins okay you got temperance popping up. So uh, for temperance, you could be dealing with maybe a Libra. I'm sorry, not a Libra, a Sagittarius. Okay. And you got the three of coins in reverse. Okay, give me two more cards for my wonderful, wonderful Scorpius. Okay, so your two of wands, like fear of the unknown... Um, some of you may be going through a situation where you're afraid of not having all the answers, especially maybe when it comes to money financially. Okay. Now the two of wands, um, energy is fire energy is intuitive energy. It can be intense energy. It can be very passionate or heartfelt energy. Okay. Now, because it's attached to this orange border, my wonderful Scorpios, we're talking about, um, sacral chakra work. Okay. And with sacral chakra work my loves this is about emotions this is about the change that's coming in and this is about your relationships okay so there could be definitely some stuff going on where you're afraid of the outcome um because you don't have all of the information for some of you you may feel like you haven't planned enough okay this could be attached to your money Okay, Scorpios, where um, you feel maybe a little insecure about your money. Um, this could be a living situation, a job situation, okay? Or maybe um, having to transition from a job, having to move out from a living situation, okay? Or um, the, you know, all the talks of, of that um, unfolding, all right? You also have temperance and the three of coins in reverse, okay? With temperance, um, temperance is about bringing in balance. That's about moderation and everything, right? Now, temperance is showing up here with this red border. Okay, Scorpios, that's root chakra work. This is what's grounding you. This is what's on your mind. Okay, so we're talking about maybe bringing in balance to your life. Okay, maybe looking on the brighter side of things for the things that you have to walk away from. Because they're saying that you need to hold on to your determination. That's what they're saying. Okay, now... The three of coins is in reverse, which lets me know that some of you may be feeling like there's like a teamwork. Um, there's definitely ego and spirit, like a duality going on here. Battle with some of you could be battling your internal self, okay? Um, some of you... Um, some of you may not even be taking all of your skill set into account, Okay, I think some of you may be sleeping on your own power. Okay, now this is where you're gonna have to be mindful of with this in reverse because this yellow border represents um, your solar plexus. This is your ego and your will. Now, keep in mind your ego is gonna tell you about your limitations, what you can do, what you can't do, um, why you can and why you can't, right? But your spirit is always gonna let you know pure intention, like everything is limitless. If you can think it, if you like it's yours to experience, okay? So, what this three of coins in reverse i want you guys to be mindful of maybe who you're interacting with when it comes to you being um uh what's that word generous okay uh for some of you you may have to be mindful how you are um how giving you are in your business you may have to change some of your businesses um uh procedures for some of you you may have to change how giving you are to others in your life because this temperance and this three of coins energy is clarifying this six of pentacles and this um, two of wands, which is looking towards the future. 
Um, you, you, you looking at the people that you interacting with and maybe where you may need to make some plans in the future, because everybody that say they for you, uh, Scorpios ain't always for you. Okay. That's just truth. Okay. Now, uh, clarifying this hierophant energy over here. Okay. Which is really all about your belief systems and your traditions. You do have the ace of swords. Okay. Uh, and the ace of swords energy is your mental and your spiritual thinking, but it's also grounded with this red border which represents your root chakra once again. And this is what's on your mind, what's grounding you, what are you afraid of, really is the question here. Because this represents maybe fear or anxiety, but this can also represent if you, you know, like if you know where you are and you know where you're, where you're standing, even if physically it doesn't like represent it at the moment, internally, if you feel it and you stand from that perspective, uh, you can see how you're getting some peace because this is saying that there may be some anxiety and some fear uh, that you need to tackle when it comes to your traditions and your belief system. You may be questioning a lot of that right now with this Ace of Swords in reverse. You may be feeling confused about some things. You may be um, uh, mentally and maybe just... Um, You may just have like a lot of things on your mind mentally about um, money. Okay. That seems to be... Um, and they want you to definitely pay attention to how... Um, how you... How you give, you know? How much, how much attention you give to something or someone... All right, and we're gonna see why. We're gonna find out why. Also, clarifying this hyphen energy, you do have this um, Ace of Swords clarified by this Eight of Wands in reverse. That means, uh, yeah, you're questioning things, or they want you to question your belief system clearly because there seems to be lack of clarity because you feel like things are at a delay. You feel delayed. There's a lot of root chakra work going on, which means like what's on your mind. So. Overall, let's take a look at um, what energy you're interacting with because they're saying you need to um, be more determined, especially when it comes to your finances, okay? Don't be afraid of that. Hold on to your determination. What you need to walk away from is pay attention who you're generous to. Pay attention who you give too much to. Pay attention to that, okay? Who's getting more energy, Okay. All right, you got the death card popping up here in the energy you're interacting with. Okay, you got the ace of cups pointing in the past. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with some past stuff. Okay, you got the page of pentacles. And this could have been past stuff where you were promised some stuff. You got the devil card. One more card for my wonderful Scorpios. Okay, so right off the board, you could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay. Um, okay, so they're asking you to be determined because you definitely may be afraid of the future, especially when it comes to do with money. So you could be interacting with someone where definitely there is a talk of, there's talk of money, um, or, or your relationship is affected by money somehow. Okay. Or maybe even a living situation, your livelihood, you know, around there. Uh, now their energy, they have the death card. This is all about endings and beginnings. Okay. Now this could be an end to something of the past. Maybe because the ace of cups is pointing in the future. Maybe it's, um, someone from the past, past love or past, um, some past love or um, something that you love that you may have left in the past, um, you know, uh, clarify this death card and the ace of cups from our wonderful Scorpios. Okay. We got two cards. Yeah. This could have been someone from the past that came in to offer you something. Okay. They came in with an offer. Okay. Or this could be something, like I said, like something creative that you had, an idea or something that you put to the side, you put on the shelf um, from the past, okay? Um, 
It kind of feels like an offer is coming in, however. That's why they're asking you to be determined. And this offer could be coming in from the past. Okay? This offer could be coming in from the past because this death card is clarified by this... Um, well, on the camera, it should look like this. But this death card is clarified by this ace card. This ace, uh, a cups card, and it's pointing towards the, the, the past. So um, there's an ending of something or the uh, beginning of something from the past uh, when it comes to your ace of cups. And we're talking about um, maybe love. Uh, we're talking about something creative or maybe an overwhelming sense of you not fighting internally with yourself anymore about this project or whatever this is that you need to be determined about okay um but it could also be like you know putting an end to something and this could also if you're with someone this could be you putting an end to the past shit right just like being determined to make this work okay um whatever this is right so um yeah someone there's a beginning and ending to something, a beginning to something. You have the Ace of Cups. Um, this could be someone from the past coming back in, offering you something. And this time they're coming in with the um, the Eight of Pentacles energy. And this is what they're asking you to hold on to, okay? Now, um, what they're asking you to let go of over here, okay? Um they're asking you to um, let go of maybe being too charitable, okay? Um, maybe maybe um, being too given um, and giving too much when you don't have a clear uh, perception of the future where there is no talk about the future, you know? Like, yeah, like you may need to have that conversation about something more structured, um, you know, that you would feel comfortable with, my wonderful Scorpio. Uh, cause you've been patient about this, but you, you still kind of feel like there's no teamwork here. There's no collaboration going on. And that's probably because you need to stop being so grateful or, or for some of you, I'm here, stop being so readily available. And that can mean, uh, physically that can mean emotionally. And that could mean, um, uh, mentally, you know, I don't always answer the phone. Okay. Now, with this energy of what you need to let go of, we do have the Page of Pentacles energy clarified by the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So um, you need to let go of not being able to manifest the stability, not just in uh, your home life, but also in your work life, okay? Um, this Nine of Wands was pointing towards the past, which says to me that you're looking at the past too much, right? And that's what they want you to let go of. Stop looking at the past. You need to be looking at the future and you need to be looking at maybe honing in how generous you are to others and then walking away feeling depleted because you didn't get back what you invested, okay? Because um, you're clearly dealing with, uh, uh, this could be, I don't, let's see. This could be whatever offer you may have felt that you had in the past that didn't pan out work-wise, relationship-wise. Um, you may be in defense mode a little bit about that, right? You may be a little bit hesitant about this, this over here with this offer that's coming in because of this. So this is why they're asking you just to be mindful, right? Don't nobody get to... to um to first place without, you know, there's levels to this shit. So just be mindful of that, okay? So whatever this is, is going to cause you to pay attention to your belief systems. Like, what are you believing in, right? Because whatever you're believing in right now, um, have you in your head feeling like a little bit confused, like you need some clarity, right? What's on your mind, okay? And what's on your mind could be money, okay? And it could also be fairness and, and being able to get back what you put in. You got a lot of pentacles energy on this board. So with what's that telling me straight off the bat with the pentacles energy on the board is that there's definitely something going on around your money or your family home or even work okay um so yeah eight of wands you feel delayed you feel like there's a delay in clarity like you may not have all of the information you're questioning things 
um, or you should be questioning things if you're not. Don't be so stuck in your belief system and so rigid that you're not open to see things out of the box, okay? You could be dealing with a Capricorn energy here. And this Capricorn energy is someone that may be stuck in their old ways, right? Um, and, uh, and, and hasn't made quite a decision about, um, how they want to move. So the final outcome is that somebody's still like stuck in their ways and there's still a decision that needs to be made. Okay. So we got the sun card clarifying this. I find this. Um, thank you, universe. Okay. Just thank you for the wisdom. Okay. So, you got someone that could be bound by their own insecurities, um, bound by their own wanting to keep up with the Joneses. So they show you one face, but they show the world a totally different face. It's like they may not even know who they are fully or they're on the way knowing who they are fully. This could be somebody that's materialistic. This could be somebody that's, you know, um, this also could be somebody that, that think that sex may fix everything and it, it doesn't, you know. Um, this energy is shown the sun card and the six of, um, swords card. Uh, and with the sun card, this is all about, um, fun, positivity, um, wanting to be in a better place of life. You know, um, this is all about clarity. Oh my gosh. You know how it feels to be in the sun after you've been in darkness for a while, Scorpios, right? Moving on towards a brighter place, um, because of this energy right here, which is the four of pentacles. Somebody could have been a little greedy, or somebody could a could have been a little um, selfish, right, in this relationship. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. And this person was avoiding that. Yep. This person, um, there's still some a little bit of emotional immaturity going on. We got the Magician card and the Queen of Cups. There's some immaturity going on here. But however, this immaturity, like the final outcome is this person is going to step up and um, get their shit together. Now, how long is that going to take? I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It just depends on... You, you can't be stuck in the future. You got the Six of Coins in reverse. See? There you go. See, now, remember how you have the Six of Coins here and this was pointing towards your future. The Two of Wands was pointing towards your future. Um, in your final outcome, as you're questioning your belief system, as you're standing strong in this, I really feel like, Scorpio, once you reevaluate everything, right, you're bringing... You're bringing your six of coins and your two of coins. So your two of pentacles and your six of pentacles. So you're bringing your um, third eye chakra energy and your um, sacral chakra energy, right? Sacral chakra is the orange border card. Uh, third eye chakra is like the little violet color card. Um, and you're bringing those two energies together because whatever selfish one-sided deals that you feel like you've been in, whatever one-sided relationships you feel like you've been in, clearly that's not where you're operating from anymore, okay? Because this two of coins is representing you bringing shit into balance, okay? That's you being able to, my wonderful Scorpio, something that we do, kind of like put everyone in their proper perspective or their proper place. Like, we see you coming from afar. Like, we definitely see you coming from afar right and we may not tell you that we know that you full of fuckery like we may not tell you that right but that don't mean that we don't see you coming right that don't mean that you don't you we don't see you coming so you put in an end to anything that was uh one-sided you do have crown chakra work going on here that's pure intuitive energy pure energy from source you got it showing up with the seven of swords and the freaking lover's card Right now, I'm going to tell you something right now. I was listening to another um, tarot reader, and I really don't do that a lot. Um, but I was listening to someone uh, a couple of, maybe a month ago. 
And she had the best analogy when it comes to the Seven of Swords. Um, uh, when it comes to the Seven of Swords card. And I liked it. I Like, I really did. Uh, and she looked at it from a very, very beautiful perspective. Uh, in a positive way, right? So, this is what I'm going to say to you, right? With this Seven of Swords energy right here, you have the option to hold on to all of the strife, all of the emotional shit uh, from the past, right? Because you're still holding on. Look at this. You got like five swords still holding on tightly to, right? And that's clarified by this lover's card, right? And still here, like you want all of this, but you, you know, like you want all of this. You're still envisioning. You're still, you know, now, but you're still stuck here. You're still stuck in a place, my wonderful, wonderful uh, Scorpios, where you may still be holding on to some backstabbing, painful shit that you've been through. Don't allow that to crowd your new relationship. All right, clarify this lover's card in the Seven of Swords. What you want us to know about this lover's card in the Seven of Swords? Three cards, and then we're going to wrap this up. Eight of Swords, pointing to the future. This is saying, please don't isolate yourself, okay? But then again, I kind of feel like for some people, isolation is going to be protection in this season. Like, you're really going to have to choose your bubble, right? Four of Coins in reverse again. Knight of Cups in reverse. Honestly speaking... What's the bottom of the deck for them? Because I don't know if I don't know if this person is gonna get this chance that they want. Bottom of the deck for them is expansion. They want, you know, they want to expand with you, but you still you may not think that this is worth your time or your while. You're still on the fence about this. Bottom of the deck for you is like you holding on to your strength. You're still on the fence about this. Yep. Four of Swords followed by the Strength card. You in your heart and in your head about this. Yeah, somebody might be coming back from the past um, with an offer. This could be a job offer or something from the past may be coming back um, to bring you an offer. But you're on the fence about this because you still see a little bit of immaturity. Eventually, that, that maturity is going to... Um, like that person, okay. They're saying eventually it's going to come to completion. I can't make this shit up. But you may still. I, I don't know if you're going to hold on. Princess of Coins at the bottom of the deck for you. This is Manifestation. This is a page of co um, Coins, page of Pentacles. Right? Okay. Somebody's coming back. Um, they know they fucked up in the past. Like they did. They're coming back and they're still a little bit immature. And you may even see some of their selfishness still, right? There may, there may still be some conflict and some tension, but that's just because of this immature energy. Not clearly known how to express themselves emotionally yet. Um, and it kind of feels like this person may not have been taught certain things. And this, like I said, this could be on the family front. This could be on the lover's front. You know, one of the things you have to understand about relationship is people do what they know. And if you don't know something, you can't operate, you know, differently until you decide to either learn for yourself or someone, you know, helps you to quickly understand how the fuck shit is going down okay now with that being said my wonderful scorpios i think that you're in a wonderful position right here to stand firm in what you want question your belief system um right um Question your belief system. You want to judge things from a perspective of what you want now. They're asking you not to be so generous when it comes towards um, your um, just uh, being so loyal and so trusting. You want to pay attention to um, people's energy and, and be mindful to make sure people are not just saying, but they're also doing. So people's words and actions needs to match in this future, okay, uh, in this timeline. All right. Okay, my wonderful Scorpio. Uh, this person, however, 
I'm not saying their heart ain't pure. I'm just saying that they may still be a little bit immature with how they handle things. Eventually, they are going to mature. And if you want um, a positive outcome, which can happen, right, based on the princess of um, coins, you can manifest, right? Um, you can manifest. It's just going to take work. So um, some of you may decide that you don't want to put in that work and you just want to start over. Whatever it is, you're going to prosper each, either which way. Okay. Either which way you, yeah. Either which way you're going to be good. Okay. All right, my wonderful Scorpios. I hope this is helpful. Make sure you check out the description box below to find out what the specials are. Remember, we got a few more slots of uh, the $31.73 donation to get an intuitive reading slash coaching session with me. Uh, the classes are there also. The meditation for tomorrow night full moon uh, you will find in the description box below also. All right, my wonderful Scorpios. I will see you guys in your daily vibration tomorrow as well as your next individual's next. Next week. Bye, my loves.